seen you in like how long? Have I haven't been, been in New York yeah. in a while. All right. So what do you? What brings you here? Radio. Radio. <laughs> Doing interviews. Yeah. What's no going on? Because there's like this rumor that you don't even you don't do porn anymore. Or? Well, this is the thing about rumors. <laughs> rumors are rumors. They're not true. Anything that I have not said from my mouth is not true. Anything that has ever been on all those popular uh, sites that I don't want to promote. <laughs> um, everything they have ever said about me has not been true. And I'm really sick of people twittering me, asking me if it's true. Like, why am I still updating my website, PinkyTripleX.com, and promoting it if I don't do it anymore? Right. Well, I think also just, you know, the media hypes things up. And always. Like that. Always. Because mostly all they see you is bringing in whatever you want. Okay. Big asses, big tits, big dicks. And um, I have a hard time finding that, you know. And then uh, especially since the rumor came out. Like a lot of a lot of my stuff is declined. I mean, I guess people don't want to watch a porn star that goes to church. Maybe what? <laughs> That's what? That's, I don't know. I, I don't I, know. I, it doesn't stop me. Yeah, I was like, what? I don't know. Talent so. wise, there was never like a never an issue. Not with her, but I'm just saying with well, what, what other people. What about the newest females? Look at these guys. Cakey. Oh, well, look, oh yeah, Cakey. Oh, she owes this, me This this is kind of being drawn out. Um, yeah. The porn thing, like, y'all can ask me a million and one questions about the porn stuff, but I'm here for my music. And not oh. only that, <laughs> but I'm not really in the loop. So you can ask me a lot of questions about me personally, but I don't, I'm not in the loop anymore, you know? So Not even just because of me doing the music or whatever, but just to keep it real, like, I, I can't stand porn people. I don't mess with them outside of work. And um, I really don't care to even talk about industry anymore oh, how do you so, think that you can though how do you think that you're ever going to escape that because there's i'm not know, trying to escape it okay you know so that's not a, it's not a it's but it's you love me and accept me for who, it, I, though, I, so. who i am because it's just gonna go on and on and on and on and on you know now, i mean? just wanted to know about new girls and i would have been good i don't know who the new girls are Bro, because i'm, I'm not the in the new loop. girls you bought in i didn't bring them in i shot scenes with them but i didn't and then bring you them raped in. them and then now you're done with them that's how you I go. go in with that fucking. Yeah. Are you talking strap about when on? I'm fucking oh my with my God. strap on? Yeah, the newest deep. girls. I, I, I don't care about body. nothing else. I want to know about them new girls <laughs> that you slayed and then you were done with. You're a pimp. Oh, and Sarah now you're putting on music. You did something <laughs> special to her when she came out here. She well, I can't you. say that all the girls, I, I haven't not made one girl come. Well, clearly. Um, you have not made one girl come? Really? Yeah. Um, all right, so then let's talk about the music. Tell us what's going on. We have one record. That's all we got. What, do you have it? Yeah. I have it. Okay. If you leave in a relationship, like how ride or die will you go? Well, honestly, um, the song is all speaking from past experience. Like I was like that in a relationship with someone. And even though we're not together anymore, I still feel like that to a certain extent. But not as extreme because in the lyrics, it's like I'm saying I'll fry for him, lay down and die for him. I don't feel like that about nobody anymore. And um, I don't plan on feeling like any feeling like that about anyone unless I'm married to them. So. So you're getting you're, you're thinking about marriage, right? Yeah. 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 Life do, goes on. Do you have a. a no, I'm single and ready to mingle. Oh. I have no prospects at all. It's hard out there. It's, it's, it, is. It's, it's, it is. <laughs> you think you, your your history is going to intimidate guys into getting into marriage? Um, Cause you know, yes best, and no. Yeah. I mean, the what I found is guys that I've been recently dating, they say that when they compliment me or they feel like they don't want to feel like a fan. And I'm like, no, I like compliments. That's good. I'm not looking at you like a punk ass fan. Like, like I love my fans too. Like it's good, you know. So, but um, I want, I I plan on being with somebody that's solid, you know, that understand and respect what I'm from and what I've been through. Like, so it's not gonna be an issue at all for me. All right. So it's gonna be an industry person, regular person. I don't know. It's just wh whoever I got that connection with, mm. and I I love. Are there, like, so. people that you just rule out, like, athletes or rappers? Or no, something? I just, if you don't believe in God and Jesus Christ, then I can't mess with you. So what brought that whole, you know, that part of your life on, like, that music? Um, one of my close friends um, made me the godmother to her son, and um, I really liked the church and the service, and then the pastor uh, 
I felt like a connection and reached me. So I ended up moving um, to that area so I could be closer to the church. And, you know, a lot of people... I found like the more the more I learn about um you know the word like a lot of people is like misled they feel like oh it got to be this way or it got to be this way like like I'm a work in progress and you know God loves everybody so no matter who you are what you do you know as long as you seek him and you are making changes in your life things don't happen overnight you know so, so i'm a work pe- in progress do people at your church you know say anything negative to you like oh that's hard. absolutely not absolutely they don't wow, that's do you go amazing. with the pink hair though absolutely or you not. go with your regular this hair? is a wig that's what i'm saying i haven't been wearing pink hair for hella long this is a wig i do not wear pink hair to my church i never would <laughs> I'm just, I, I, um, I don't know <laughs> I have my natural hair underneath this wig. <laughs> so this is just um, for the artist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they don't recognize is what you're saying then? No, they do recognize me, but they respect that I'm trying to change my life and that I, they don't judge me. Why would right. I want to go to a church where they judge me? That's, that's what they do. They, no, I mean, that's yeah, what Every I, church, they judge yeah. people to a certain extent. Well, not my church. My church not like that. So, so people don't get dressed up and, you know, roll Of course, through. of course, of course. I but know you rolling it's through. about It's about... Like, my, my church is diverse, and not mm-hmm. only that, but it's people that grow up in the church that do all kind of stuff, the same Yo, as I me. Know. They just not getting paid for it. You know, everybody sins to some extent, oh, and sure. it doesn't make me any different because you're watching it. You, you're watching oh, what yeah. I'm doing I'm on film, sinner. so it makes it uh, worse that I'm the one performing and you're the one watching yeah. and jacking off to it. It's the same shit, True. Yeah. you know? So, no, people don't judge me. They actually are happy for me. And, um, you know, if they don't see me around, they'll call me or ask about me, you know, and I, I love it. I, I consider them my extended family. And I'm not ashamed to talk about it. I'm not ashamed to say that, you know, I didn't uh, have that background when I was growing up. And I'm grateful to finally have it in my life. And I've been a lot more at peace. And I feel like um, it was no better time than now because I'm going through a lot of transitions in my life. And if I didn't have my church family and and god and you know the and learning about the word i wouldn't be able to survive right now and a lot of people out there is trying to fill a void and um they don't know what that void is you know they buying cars and jewelry and having sex promiscuous sex and doing all kind of things and want to be loved and the answer is god and jesus christ you know i ain't trying to preach but that's because just what this it is the is. first time i've ever heard you speak like this so it's, it's, it's i'm taking it in slow yeah a lot so, of people don't, ain't heard about it, you know? So th- so pretty much you're changing your life is what you're saying. Slowly but surely. And you're just, I mean, even if I, I feel like I'm forced to change my life regardless. <laughs> based on so, what? Like cause you said, because your friend, certain situations introduce you. Was there a moment that got you to like, I need to change my life? Um, No, it was just I was interested in learning more and more and more and more. And I just felt so good being with my church family and the pastor and this this is the first time i was somewhere where the, the word was actually penetrating through my mind where i was understanding it and 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 eating it up you know so like in the past you know it, i just it wasn't i wasn't connecting you know mm. i always believed in god and jesus christ but it wasn't ever connected so now it's connecting in a major way the only thing is um you know it's sacrifices you have to make based on your faith and You know, I've been able to slowly but surely change, Mm -hmm. but financially, it's it's, it's hard to just be like, okay, I'm going to just go cold turkey and give up this line of money that I'm making, you know? Mm -hmm. So with my growth and me learning more and more, you know, eventually I will be able to make those changes, but it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be dramatic. So based on finances, you still, you know... Like everybody, I mean, out there, yeah, you just like it's doing. a lot of people that do things for money, you know. All right. That they, you know, it could be, it could be uh, selling drugs, it could oh, be doing porn, crap. it could be um, you endorsing a product that's that that's not healthy for people. You could be someone that endorsed McDonald's, and that's not. It's like a whole different types of ways that you could be doing something for money that's not right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, well, I mean, congratulations because that's big when you find like, this is because the last time i heard a woman of... speak like this in your position was jasmine cashmere and the the, the 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 audience just couldn't accept it they're like what the fuck well no, they don't yeah. have to accept it i'm not ex- i mean i'm not, ex- not, ex- I don't want I nobody mean. to accept me but i feel i do feel like i have a huge responsibility to, to do something with my my oh. popularity first of all 
even before you know me finding the church or whatever i felt like my fans have a huge expectation of me to do more than what I'm doing. They're always asking me about, you know, when are you going to do you do a clothing line? When are you going to do a perfume? When are you going to come out with your own condoms? When are you going to have a reality show? When are you going to write a book? So even if I didn't want to be do nothing more, like my fans are already expecting me to do more. To change, but besides yeah. that, you know, I feel like a lot of people when you get popular, you don't want to be responsible. You don't want to be a role model, you know? But and um, and I am. Like, a lot of people, a lot of young girls from where I'm from look up to me. And I'm, like, a big deal coming out of Oakland, you know? Yeah, Besides, yeah. you know, who MC Hammer and or Keisha, Keisha Cole. Cole. You know what I'm saying? So even though I do what I do, I don't want my my legacy to stop and end at porn, you know? I have a testimony to tell. I have a, like, game, you know? I got to let young girls, whether it's my sister's, my younger sisters or girls in my community or wherever, you know, I let them know it's hard to say, do as I say, not as I do. But if I could lead by example, and it's sad because, you know, a lot of people don't understand that just because I'm one of the few people that slipped through the cracks and did become successful off this, it does not happen for everybody. It will ruin your life. You know, a lot of young girls ask me, oh, put me in, and I tell them, no, I'm not going to put you in it now that I know what it's about because I don't want you you know, once you do what I do, it's no guarantee you're going to be a star. It's no guarantee you're going to be able, you know, and I'm still a work in progress myself trying to do other mainstream things. You know, All it's right. not like I successfully crossed over to the point where I'm making money, so much money outside of the sex industry where I don't have to do it anymore. So I don't feel like I've actually made it myself. All right. So. But you know, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I wrote all this music before. before I know. So it's going to be a time, a point in time where I'm going to have to change the content. Would you just start music. doing gospel music? I wish. You imagine? That would be next level. I wish. Ooh, no. You and really no, honestly, do a record I, am, I am looking um, to do like more pop music and more happy music, more club music, stuff that make you feel good and, you know, not so serious. But I still feel like I got a lot in me. Like, I still want to talk about when. I was going through the things I was going through, even if I'm not doing it anymore, yeah. you know? So it's still a lot I need to get out, you know? So let's hear it in the music right now, then. All right. Yeah.